the construction vehicle or CV is used to rebuild most of the world structures. You can think about things like the construction yard, emplacement houses, engineering center, factory, garages, garrison houses, hospitals, mass production factories, observation towers, relic bases, the rocket launch sites, safe houses, salvage mines, stationary cranes next to refineries and factories, town halls, sulfur mines, and seaports. It is also used to upgrade certain world structures, things like safe houses, town halls, and garrison houses. And it is also used to build a bunker base cores. Besides that, it is used in facilities where it is used to make the foundations and the facilities. Construction vehicles can only be made at home spawn points, and home spawn points are border bases, deployed landing ships, relic bases, and town halls. To build a CV, we need 100 basic materials and a normal hammer. We press 1 to equip our hammer. We press a B to open the build menu, and in the base category, we can see that we have the construction vehicle over here. If we left click on it, we get the blueprint beneath our mouse cursor. If we move away too far from the relic base over here, we can see that it says must be built near a friendly base or landing ship. So we have to be within this zone of the home base. We can change the orientation of the blueprint by holding down the right mouse button. And to place the blueprint, we simply left click. We we then walk up to it with the basic materials in our backpack, hold down the left mouse button and build the construction vehicle. Construction vehicles are faction specific, which means that you cannot enter enemy CVs. So if you come up to an enemy CV and you try to hop in, it will tell you you cannot enter enemy CVs. To rebuild a world structure, drive up to it with your construction vehicle filled with the necessary materials to rebuild the structure. Press F to go into upgrade mode. And if you're close to the building that you want to rebuild, in the bottom left, it will say press E to rebuild such and such building. Press E to start the blueprint and then hold down the left mouse button to hammer in the basic materials to rebuild the structure. To build a facility or foundation, we bring a construction vehicle with the necessary build materials to the build site. We hop into the operator seat, we press B to open the build menu, and we go to the category of the structure we want to build. In this case, we'll choose the foundation. We select the structure we want to build by left clicking on its icon. That will put the blueprint of that structure underneath our mouse cursor. If we hold down the right mouse button, we can change the rotation of the structure. While we are having the blueprint under our, our mouse cursor, we can still move our CV around. And when we are happy with the placement of our structure, we can simply a left click that will place the blueprint. We drive up to it and then hold down the left mouse button to hammer in the necessary materials. To build a bunker base, we drive a construction vehicle with 300 basic materials to a, a six-piece bunker. We press F to go into upgrade mode, and we aim at one of the square bunker pieces. We can see in the bottom left that it says press E to upgrade, so we press E to go into the upgrade menu. In the upgrade menu, we can hover over the bunker base upgrade. And if we use the scroll wheel, we can change the orientation of the bunker base. So if we point it downwards and we then uh, left click, that will place the blueprint. We can then hold down the left mouse button and start hammering in the basic materials. Besides the normal construction vehicle, there is a upgraded version of the construction vehicle available. The advanced construction vehicle can do all the things the normal construction vehicle can do, but on top of that, it can build defenses, like things like the pillboxes. It can fill in tier one and tier two trenches and tier one and tier two bunker husks. It can also build all the bunker pieces that require either basic materials or concrete materials. It will do this at an increased speed to building it with a hammer. 
we can upgrade a normal construction vehicle in a, a small assembly station that has the field station upgrade. So if we come to the small assembly station over here and we press E to open its menu, we can see that in the field station upgrade, there is the option to upgrade a construction vehicle to a advanced construction vehicle. So we can see it requires the base vehicle, so we need a normal construction vehicle and it requires a 10 processed construction materials. So to make an advanced construction vehicle, we take a normal construction vehicle and we drive it onto the assembly pad of the small assembly station. We hop out of the construction vehicle, we press shift E and we make sure that our construction vehicle has nothing in its inventory because otherwise it will not upgrade. We take everything out. We hop off the assembly pad. We press E to open a small assembly station itself. And in the production panel, we click the BMS fabricator or the advanced construction vehicle. And it tells us that we don't have enough materials. That is because the process construction materials right now are in the inventory and not the stockpile of the small assembly station. So to make sure that they go to the stockpile, we right click on the process construction materials and in the drop down menu, we select submit all to stockpile. Now with the 10 process construction materials inside the stockpile of the small assembly station, we can click the advanced construction vehicle icon and we can see that our small assembly station is now turning our construction vehicle into an advanced construction vehicle. Now that the advanced construction vehicle is ready, we can see the differences with the normal construction vehicle. And we can see that the color scheme of the advanced construction vehicle is much darker. It has a lot of black in it with yellow stripes. And we can see that the hammer is a different. With the advanced construction vehicle, we can also build structures from the defense category. So if we make sure that we have basic materials in the inventory of the advanced construction vehicle and we hop into the driver's seat, we can press a B to open the build menu. And if we go to the defense category, we can see that, for instance, the watchtower can be built with an advanced construction vehicle. We left click to have the blueprint underneath our mouse cursor. And we can uh, left click again to place the blueprint, drive up our ACV to the blueprint and hold down the left mouse button to start hammering in the basic materials. We can do the same thing with the pillbox variants. We press B to open the build menu and in the defense category, we can, for instance, select a rifle pillbox and a left click to place down the blueprint of the rifle pillbox, drive up to it and start hammering in the basic materials. And the same goes for the machine gun pillbox and the AT pillbox. So if we do, for instance, a machine gun pillbox, we left click to select a the machine gun pillbox, and if we hold down the right mouse button, we can change the orientation on the machine gun pillbox. And if we're happy with it, we can left click, place the blueprint, drive up to it and start hammering in the basic materials. With the advanced construction vehicle, we can also upgrade a bunker and trench pieces whenever they require basic materials or concrete materials. So we can upgrade this tier one trench and this tier one bunker piece with the advanced construction vehicle. For that, we need basic materials inside our construction vehicle. We have them. So we hop into the driver's seat. We make sure that we are in upgrade mode by pressing F and we see in the top left that it says upgrade mode. We press E to open the upgrade menu on the trench piece. And in the upgrade menu, we select trench tier two, and we can see that it can be built with a hammer and an advanced construction vehicle at the cost of 50 basic materials. So we left click to place the blueprint. We drive up our ACV to the trench blueprint and we start hammering in the basic materials. We can do the same thing with the bunker piece over here. So we press F to go into upgrade mode. We aim at the bunker piece. We press E to go into the upgrade menu of the bunker piece. And if we look in the upgrade menu, we can see that we can upgrade it to a tier two bunker, or we can even use the advanced construction vehicle to make it a rifle garrison. So we select a rifle garrison tier one, and we start hammering in the B mats into the blueprint. 
And with the rifle garrison tier one, we can do the same thing. We can upgrade it to tier two, as we can see in the bottom left, it says press E to upgrade to rifle garrison tier two. We press E, go into the upgrade menu and we select the rifle garrison tier two. We then left click to place the blueprint and drive up to it with our ACV and start hammering in the basic materials. The advanced construction vehicle can also build a concrete bunker structures. So a concrete bunker core, concrete bunker pieces and concrete trenches. To do that, we hop into the advanced construction vehicle. We are close to the concrete mixer and we press E to open its menu. We then pull out concrete materials into the advanced construction vehicle by shift clicking on the concrete material icon in the stockpile of the concrete mixer. This will assemble three concrete materials at a time. Concrete materials do not stack, so you can have 12 concrete materials in your advanced construction vehicle. To upgrade the bunker core to tier 3, we press F to go into upgrade mode and we aim at the bunker core. We press E to open the upgrade menu and if we open the upgrade menu, we can see that we can upgrade the bunker base to tier 3. It will cost us 25 concrete materials. So we left click on the bunker base icon that will place the blueprint and we hold down the left mouse button to hammer in the concrete materials. We can do the same thing for bunker pieces, so we open the concrete mixer again and we start assembling more concrete materials into our ACV. We press F to go into upgrade mode and we aim at a bunker piece. If we now press E to go into upgrade mode, we can see that there is a bunker corner tier 3. So if we left click, that will place the blueprint, we hold down a left mouse button and that will start hammering in the concrete materials. Not only does this work on bunker cores and bunker pieces, but it also works on trenches. So if we come to the tier two trench over here, we press F to go into upgrade mode and we can see that it has a health of 94%, which means if we try to upgrade it now, we are not able to because it is damaged. So we hop out of the CV, grab some B mats real quick and start repairing the tier two trench. So now that the trench is repaired, we can hop inside our ACV again. We can press F to go into upgrade mode and with the health at 100%, we can press E to open the upgrade menu you select the trench tier three, which will cost us 10 concrete materials, a left click to place the blueprint and then hold down the left mouse button to hammer in the concrete materials. You can use the advanced construction vehicle to fill in tier one and tier two trench and bunker husks. To fill in tier one bunker and trench husks, we just need the advanced construction vehicle. So we hop into the driver's side. We press F to go into upgrade mode. If we aim at the bunker piece and we press E to open its upgrade menu, we can see that we have the option to both rebuild it or to fill it in. So if we want to fill it in, we can uh, left click. That will place the uh, blueprint. We can drive up to it and then hold down the left mouse button to fill in the bunker piece. Now that we're done filling in, we can see that the bunker piece has disappeared. We can do the same thing for the trench husk. So we press F to go into upgrade mode and we aim at the trench. We press E to go into the upgrade menu. And in the upgrade menu, we select the fill in option that will place the blueprint and we can hold down the left mouse button to fill in the trench husk. We can also fill in tier two bunker and trench husks. This requires basic materials though. So if we are in upgrade mode in the advanced construction vehicle and we aim at this tier two bunker husk and we press E to open its upgrade menu, we can see if we hover over the fill in option that it will cost us 75 basic materials. So we make sure that we have basic materials in the inventory of our advanced construction vehicle. We hop in the driver's seat, press F, we press E to open its upgrade menu and we select the fill in option that will place the blueprint. We then hold down the left mouse button and we will start hammering in basic materials and that will level out the terrain again. The same applies for tier two trench husk. So we make sure that we are still in upgrade mode. We aim at the tier two trench husk. We press 
E to open its upgrade menu. And if we hover over the fill in option, we can see that it will require 50 basic materials to fill in this trench husk. If we left click, it will place the blueprint. We can hold down the left mouse button that will hammer in the basic materials and will restore the terrain to its former state. Because of the build restrictions and requirements for construction vehicles and advanced construction vehicles, we cannot always build them where they are needed. Now, we can obviously drive a construction vehicle or advanced construction vehicle to where it is needed, but construction vehicles are very slow. Luckily, we can transport construction vehicles and advanced construction vehicles with a, a flatbed truck and a crane. For that, we come close to the crane. We hop out of our advanced construction vehicle. We press E to open its menu. And in the actions panel, we click the package button. This will start packaging the construction vehicle for transport. As soon as it is a package for transport, we can hop into the crane by pressing Q. We hold down the right mouse button and aim at the package construction construction vehicle until we see the connection icon. When we see the connection icon, we left click to hoist it up. We then aim at the back of the flatbed truck. And as soon as we see the connection icon there, we can left click and that will drop the packaged construction vehicle on the back of the flatbed truck. We can then hop out of our crane, hop into our flatbed truck and drive off to where we are needed. To get the advanced construction vehicle off the back of our flatbed truck, we need a crane at the destination. For that, you can use the mobile crane or a static crane from foundations or the cranes from, for instance, refineries and factories. We hop out of our flatbed truck. We walk up to the crane over here, press Q to hop in. A right mouse button to aim at the packaged CV, a left click to hoist it up, and we aim somewhere where we want to drop it. Soon as we get the target icon, we can left click that will drop down the CV. We hop out of the crane, walk up to the package CV. And when we are very close, we press E and that will start unpackaging the construction vehicle. As soon as it is unpackaged, we can press E and see that the inventory is still intact. And if we press a Q to hop in, we can drive away with our construction vehicle and use it. 